Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful start to the weekend. We are starting our weekend here with a look at some of our favorite footage and memories of beautiful Bora Bora. Um, so we put together, you know, last week we uh, showed you some different boat and drone and snorkel snorkel footage from Morea, and so that kind of inspired me um, and chatting with uh, one of uh, our viewers here, Nutmeg in Time, and she was commenting on how it looked like such a tour and how the experience felt like a tour. So today, you know, that kind of inspired me to look at some of our footage from Bora Bora and pull that together for you um, to really put together a beautiful tour of Bora Bora. Um, so Bora Bora is one of the most famous islands in French Polynesia. It's famous for this beautiful mountain right here and the ring of reef that surrounds the island, um, creating some of the most calm blue waters you'll ever see. <clears throat> It's so funny, uh, in preparation for today, last night I had a dream about this island. Um, I've definitely, it's been on my mind, you can say. So we are flying into Bora Bora here. This is um, the descent and you can see it's a really majestic, uh, it's a majestic flight. I mean, the water is so amazing. You have these deep dark blue sections, the light, light, light blue sections, and of course the lush green mountains. I mean, you just you just can't get enough. So if you're watching this um, on, a, on a tablet, I really recommend you go back and watch it like on a bigger screen if you can because the views are really beautiful. Uh, Jody, happy Saturday. It's nice to see you. I hope you're having a good start to the weekend. It's so hard to believe that it's already um, August 19th. I mean, where did the summer go? Um, yeah, time has been absolutely flying. So I hope everybody's been having a good summer. Um, and if you're, if you're not subscribed to our newsletter, please click the link in the description of this post to subscribe. I send a newsletter every week letting you know when we're going to be going live next. Um, and so be sure to click that for our next live video. Jody, yeah, I mean, isn't it amazing? Like, I, the, the flight is just spectacular. You know, it's about 20 minutes from Tahiti to Bora Bora, and those last few minutes when you get right to the island and you see it emerge, I mean, it looks like a postcard. Um, it, it's a very surreal feeling landing in Bora Bora. So here we are um, going to a little island called Fair Ahuna. Um, well, I guess in French Polynesia they call them motus. So if you've been watching our channel, you'll notice that a lot of our videos we filmed here on this tiny little island. I know, Jody. I can't believe it. Already August 19th. I mean, it's summer's pretty much over and I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Hata, hello. Happy Saturday. I know, Jody. like you really have to pinch yourself because it looks like a movie or it looks like you've just entered a postcard. Um, and it made me think of, I, I feel like I've seen a lot of postcards of Bora Bora that look like they were like vintage type postcards. And, um, and I felt like I was just living in, in something like that. It was a very like out of body type of experience. And so here is another clip that I have. Um, so Bora Bora doesn't have a lot of public beaches. There's one main public beach called Matira Beach. And so here, like we're strolling on the on the beach here, you can see in the distance, there's this little, well, it's a pretty big ray that's, that's going right along the water. Um, but yeah, Matira Beach is the main beach, public beach on the island of Bora Bora. Um, and it's amazing. So we're gonna hang out here and spend some time here in this video tour. Um, but the waters are just, gorgeous so so blue and um, the one thing that you really don't realize about Bora Bora uh, is that the waters look so calm but the current is so strong um, the water is definitely powerful here uh, because you're right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean I guess and um, yeah the water comes in through the openings in the reefs and then you know creates creates these strong currents so the water is beautiful and very powerful Irfan, it's nice to see you. Are you having a good weekend? So just looking at all those blues. It is mesmerizing. I hope everybody is having a great weekend and that you enjoy this live session. Um, we're going to be doing some more lives, giving you sort of a behind the, behind the scenes look at some of these most beautiful places. Um, so I really hope you enjoy them. And if you have any, anything that you would want to see on a live stream, you know, please let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. 
And uh, if you have any questions about, you know, what kinds of gear we use, we've been getting a lot of questions about that. So I also have some links below in this description about what kind of GoPros and Osmos and uh, drones we use. Um, these are affiliate links, so we do get a commission, um, a small commission at no cost to you if you, if you buy anything using those links. Yeah, Jody, the water is is very powerful and very serious there. I mean, I didn't no realize it because it just, you know, it looks so calm, but um, I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute. We spent some time like swimming out um, out into the darker blue area here in Bora Bora. And I mean, the drift was really incredible. I just all of a sudden realized that I was really drifting down. Um, so you have to kind of be aware of that current there for sure. But look at the color of the water. I mean, it's so luscious and blue, you could just drink it. So crystal clear. And then in the distance you have, you can see um, the big waves breaking on the reefs out there. And that in itself is so, so mesmerizing. I mean, um, you know, it's like these waves breaking on the reef out there. It's calm and beautiful in here. Uh, such an amazing contrast. <laughs> Jody, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, pumpkin lattes. Do you, do you drink them around fall time or, or just, uh, or any time of the year? Hello, the Underwood family. Happy Saturday. Oh, MD, thanks so much for your support and for um, for supporting the channel. That's so, so kind of you. You are a big support. Um, you know, it, so there's there's a, if you think that we've earned it, um, consider sending us super chats and super stickers uh, by clicking the dollar bill at the bottom of this chat. This helps us keep these turquoise waters flowing, so to speak. Um, so a huge thank you, MD, for supporting for supporting this live stream. I'm so so glad that you uh, enjoy enjoy these um, behind the scenes videos. Irfan, I'm sending an ocean of these be beautiful blue waters your way. <laughs> Jody, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, pumpkin spice latte. I yeah, everything pumpkin spice, especially like around September. I mean. We went to Costco a few days ago, and it's crazy that they already have like Halloween decorations up and, and all of that. I mean, I forget that it's fall's coming, but it really is. I know, Jody. So this is like at Matera Beach as well, um, closer to the Intercontinental. So Bora Bora is famous because it has like all of these big hotels. It has Intercontinental, it has St. Regis, it has Four Seasons. Um, it has, I think, another one called the Conrad. And all of those hotels are kind of on their own little islands, um, so you can only get to them by boat. We'll actually uh, walk around the St. Regis a little later in this video. Um, but this one here is showing you the, inter the intercontinentals there in the distance, and then you have this ray right here. Um, you can see this big ray just hanging out. But it's really interesting because it's so different to Morea. I mean, we didn't see any sharks here in Bora Bora. Uh, Morea, I mean, you see so, so many. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting just how different even these islands are from each other in terms of what you can see um, from a wildlife perspective. So we didn't see any, any sharks here, but um, lots of rays. Ooh, Jody, that's so yummy. What do you, um, do you make a drink with the Malibu rum? Like, I mean, yeah, rum punch, I have to say, having a rum punch, that's when you really know that you're on a vacation. <laughs> I remember um, whenever, whenever I go back home to Anguilla and, you know, you have a rum punch, there's this one restaurant there called Blanchard's Beach Shack, um, and they have to put a cherry in it, otherwise it doesn't count, you know? Um, but that's when you know that you, you can officially start to relax. Yeah, Jody. So at the end of this peninsula here, the inter it's the Intercontinental. Um, the other big hotels, like the Four Seasons and the St. Regis, are on islands of their own. So you take boats to them. Um, but yeah, the Intercontinental is the only one that's actually on the mainland of Bora Bora, um, and they have the overwater bungalows and all that. Uh, but but yeah, the uh, the St. Regis and those you can buy day passes and you can hang out and explore the. Um, the uh, the properties and the properties are pretty sensational. I mean, the St. Regis was really incredible. 
Ooh, that sounds good, Jody. I have to try that. Seven Up and pineapple juice or both. So here you go. Here's a look at the St. Regis Hotel. Um, <clears throat> this property was absolutely amazing. I mean, they had a few beaches like this, um, a big pond with fish, uh, like a huge pond where you can snorkel and see the fish, um, and a lot of restaurants. Oh, Jody, no kidding. That's so cool. Did you enjoy it? Did you? In did so you stayed at the Intercontinental? Silene, hello, happy Saturday. Irfan, I thought the same thing, that swimming with stingrays would be dangerous, but um, if you know, as long as you're gentle with them, I saw so many people swimming with them and it was okay. Uh, I would not approach them on my own, to be honest. I would always do it with a guide because I just, I mean, I don't know enough about stingrays to know, you know, how they interact with you and, and what's um, dangerous or not dangerous, but, um, but yeah. Jody, yeah, I mean, Matera Beach is really beautiful. That is like the main beach in the Intercontinental. Um, and then <clears throat> each of these islands, you know, they these private islands that are off of Bora Bora are so beautiful. So, but you have to get permission to go to them. So the St. Regis, you can do that by buying a day pass. And I have to say, it's really worth it to see how amazing these properties are. Um, their beautiful beaches, their food. I mean, it's so crazy. Like, you know, the day pass includes lunch and everything. Um, so you don't pay for lunch, but when we were looking at the menu, a club sandwich, if you were staying at the hotel, would be 45 US dollars. And so that, that kind of blew my mind. It was the most expensive thing on the menu, so maybe, maybe bacon is really expensive? I mean, I couldn't really figure that out. Mmm, Jody, good to know. I have to say that uh, the beaches in um, French Polynesia don't hold a candle to the ones in the Caribbean. Like, I, I mean, the water is amazing. Um, but there's something about the beaches in the Caribbean, like the sand is so, so soft. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's a different type of beauty. And so this is like the main area in the St. Regis. It has that iconic view of the mountains of Bora Bora. I mean, I don't think it gets more iconic than that. Like, um, yeah, the scenery here is just, it's just, I mean, it's, it's like a dream. It doesn't even feel real. Um, so you have some hotel rooms here, and then you also have um, their dinner restaurant, which we'll go walk past. Um, but this property is truly sensational. I mean, a huge, huge property, enormous spa, big pond full of fish for snorkeling, um, two beaches, uh, lots of restaurants, big pool, um, and they have those like lagoon type pools with rocks uh, and waterfalls, rock waterfalls and things like that. Um, and it's amazing that you really can only get here by boat, you know, so um, you pull up you pull up by boat and that's it. And so here you have this gorgeous um, dinner time restaurant that looks out to the uh, mountains of Bora Bora. And it's just spectacular. And there's something just about it, you know, that the color of the water, the, the thatched hut roofs, um, and of course those sensational mountains, just gorgeous. So, so beautiful. And so now we're going to do a little stand-up paddleboard tour. So this is around um, the island where we were staying. It was called Fair Ahuna. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you're okay with, you know, more of a rustic type of living situation. But it is just gorgeous. I mean, this island was amazing. So here we're sort of stand-up paddleboarding around the whole island. Oh my gosh, Jody! Yeah, it's totally very not like it's not a joke how expensive these resorts are. I was um I was pretty blown away by um, the price of things on the menu, <laughs> um, but the day pass was really, really good value, so um, I'm glad that we did that, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's traveling here but not staying at one of the big hotels. Um, it's worth it to pay and just to see because there's so few properties like that that are, um, that are so built like that. I mean, really, really amazing. <clears throat> so huge. So here, I mean, the stand-up paddleboarding around this island was pretty easy, I have to say. Um, my boyfriend swam around the whole island, <laughs> but it's a pretty little island and the water was so clear. Um, yeah, just really, really beautiful and just sort of feels like another world, you know, like a, 
picture perfect tropical island these beautiful blue waters and um the people were just so kind you know the the <clears throat> woman and man who um took care of the of the cottage where we were staying they were just so sweet and they had a little dog and yeah amazing reefs here um just such healthy healthy oceans and so i filmed this with a gopro on my head um, i'm gonna experiment with this for the next time and how you know how to make it a little more stable um yeah it's very interesting trying to trying to film these these gopro videos but look at that that beautiful view of the mountains of bora bora So if you're just tuning in, this is one of our live sessions. We're going to be doing a lot more live sessions on this channel, so I hope you enjoy them. And if you have ideas for things you would like to see on our live sessions, let me know in the comments below. Um, they, these live sessions will be giving you a behind-the-scenes look at some of our favorite places on Earth. Um, so yeah, be sure to also click the link in the description below to subscribe to our newsletter. We send a newsletter every week letting you know when we're going to be going live next. Um, so be sure to click that to uh, get our lives, our next upcoming lives, um, when, you know, the, the schedule for that. And if you enjoy these live streams and you think we've earned it, um, consider supporting us by buying Super Chat and Super Stickers by clicking the dollar bill at the bottom of this live stream chat. Um, that really helps us, you know, keep doing what we're doing and continue to bring to bring these beautiful views to you. So thank you so much in advance for your support and a huge thank you to MD for um, supporting the channel today with his super, super chat. So here we are, we're going to go do a special snorkel session. Um, there's like lots of different type of snorkeling in Bora Bora and one of the most popular types of snorkeling is called a drift snorkel. So I had mentioned earlier that the currents are very strong here. So um, our guide recommended we try something completely different. <clears throat> And I have to tell you, I felt kind of scared because look how deep the water is. So basically, you take um, a little dinghy out to this area and then you hold on to the dinghy. Um, well, he held on to the dinghy, but basically you just let yourself drift down. So you don't even have to swim. You don't have to push. Your body just naturally follows the current and gets pushed down um, along along the ocean here. Um, it's a, it's really incredible like the current moves so fast and it's so powerful that you don't really have to do much you just sort of sit there <laughs> and and the and the power of the water just moves you um, and, and so this was like a really really interesting experience because you know um, you're kind of going along going along going along and then I don't think we have it on video because I couldn't find the clip, but there were like four eagle rays that just sort of swam past and I was so afraid that I was going to knock right into them because um, I was going so fast with this following this current. Um, but yeah, the power of the ocean here is is pretty amazing. So Catherine, hello. How are you? Are you having a good weekend? Um, it's good to see you and I'm, I'm happy to know that you're enjoying these live streams. We'll definitely be doing more of them. So if there are things you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Um, this is a snorkel session, so I don't have my, I don't have a diving uh, license or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the diving in French Polynesia is supposed to be pretty impressive, especially if you like sharks. <laughs> there are some big ones, uh, I think, in like the island of Tahiti. So this is just doing what they call a drift snorkel. So basically, you let the current just carry you. Um, and you just drift down and the current pushes you and you and you sort of like look at all this coral um, and here we have a little sea turtle so cute hanging out on the on the white sand of um, of Bora Bora so yeah it's just very incredible different to if you tuned into last week's live stream um, you saw that we were did some snorkeling or maybe it was the week before um, but it was very very shallow water in Morea this is very deep so I was a little freaked out but um, but it's amazing to see I mean look how huge these uh, these corals and um, corals are and so here we have a little 
eagle ray swimming out there in the distance. Uh, Catherine, I would say it's probably about 30 feet. Um, this was pretty deep. I, I was a little nervous to do it, but it was really cool to just let your body be drifting um, and you're just pushed by nothing but the current of the ocean. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I feel like if you spend a lot of time in French Polynesia, you'll end up thinking a lot about currents because um, the water is pretty powerful here. Uh, you know, you have the opening, so these islands are surrounded by a ring of reef. Um, which make the waters very calm inside, but they're still under the water there. The, the current is very powerful. So learning how to use the current to your advantage, I think, is probably important. So uh, like swimming down following the current is easy, but to go against the current is super hard. Jody, that's a great point. I mean, the visibility is amazing. Um, it's, it's so, so clear. So here we have another island. So this is Le Taha. This is a, a this resort was also gorgeous. Um, this is off of the island of Taha in French Polynesia, about <clears throat> a 20 minute flight from Bora Bora. Um, and so this place uh, also just, I mean, gorgeous all on its own. So, I mean, there's not much else around here. It was sort of just this hotel, a couple of hotels in this area, but um, Taha was very, very like, I mean, no commercial, no tourism there, no commercial stuff. It was uh, pretty laid back. So the only one, only major hotel was this hotel, and then we were staying at a little um, boutique hotel. <clears throat> but um, again, you can get day passes to these properties and take a look around them, and they're very, they're so sensational. I mean, it's iconic, you know, um, seeing uh, these overwater bungalows and the beautiful blue, blue water. Um, so yeah. This, this property was, was really fascinating and they also have some amazing snorkeling here. Um, they call these like shallow snorkeling areas the snorkel garden or um, jardin snorkel, so jardin coral, coral garden. Um, so we're gonna go check that out after we kind of walk around the, this property a little bit. Um, yeah, just beautiful. The colors are so mesmerizing. Hello, A. So good to see you. Happy Saturday. I'm glad you're enjoying the view and thanks for tuning in. Um, we are here on uh, Le Taha. This is a resort um, off of the island of Taha in French Polynesia. Um, it is, it's gorgeous. I mean, beautiful uh, mountains and blue water and also it's famous for having this uh, Jardin Coral, so that's a coral garden um, and so here so completely different to the snorkel footage we just shared which is 30 feet deep and a drift snorkel this is extremely shallow so you are swimming through areas that almost you know could be grazing your your belly in some cases um, and uh, and so yeah we're gonna snorkel through here and take a look at some of these beautiful fish Oh, MD, I'm so happy that you enjoy these, uh, these, these virtual tours of these beautiful places. That's so nice of you to say. And here you have like one of these French Pacific clams. Um, so yeah, these are like what they, what, oh, <laughs> you know, you've heard of the Tahitian pearls. Uh, so yeah, they would be inside things like this. I mean, they're so amazing and their colors get really vibrant. You can see some that are bright, bright purple, bright, bright blue. Um, yeah, the fish here really are so, so sweet. I love those, um, those angel type fish. They're not angel fish though. Catherine, this area is known to tourists. Yes, mostly because of this hotel. It's called Le, Le Taha by Pearl Resorts. Um, otherwise, there really isn't much around. So, But Taha is an island that produces a lot of pearls. Um, so they do have like pearl farms there. They also produce a lot of vanilla. Um, so, it, I mean, it's a very lush and um, it's a very lush island. So uh, it was raining the morning that we arrived there and it's just, it's, it's like, you know, and I don't want to say Jurassic Park, but it kind of feels like that because there's so much, um, there's so many trees, there's so much foliage, there's so much greenery. Uh, this, it, it just feels like a very rich island in terms of natural resources. Um, so, so yeah, that main island, it's very small though, tiny, tiny population. Um, 
and uh, so only yeah only 5,000 people live on the island of Taha you have some grocery stores and um, and you know basically the places that create the Tahitian pearls that do vanilla um, and and yeah so a pretty tiny island um, but it has this beautiful resort, which is like why tourists know about it so much. Um, yeah, the, the, Taha, the Taha Island Resort and Spa, and it has this, um, and it has this gorgeous coral garden where you can see all these beautiful Tahitian fish. It's just so mesmerizing. Yeah, thanks so much for um, for tuning in, Catherine. Jody, that's a really interesting point. I have to say that, um, yeah, you know, the way that they preserve their environment here, it's it's pretty remarkable. I, um, yeah, I, we could learn a lot from French Polynesia. I mean, how pristine and preserved it is and all their rules and laws for preserving nature, it really goes a long way because their environment is so, so healthy and, um, yeah, just beautifully kept. I really have to, you know, these islands deserve a lot of credit because it's one of like the most pristine areas I've ever seen. I mean, the from underwater to above water, um, it's just yeah, you don't see a lot of garbage, you don't see anything like that. It's just very, very well kept. And um, you know, a friend of ours down there was telling us it's a really like it's a huge credit to the population of Tahiti because um, you know the the power and beauty of nature is so woven into their culture that um, the respect that they have for the natural environment is just, you know, generations and generations, like centuries, centuries old. So, um, yeah, it's pretty amazing to see. Jenny, yeah, it's in Taha. This is a must do for sure. This coral garden snorkel. I mean, um, it's so cool. <laughs> you see so many fish and uh, yeah, I love I love these ones. Butterfly fish. They are so sweet. Um, the other the other place that you need to do for snorkeling for sure is Morea on the Tame Beach. Um, so I would say like this area and the Tame Beach, it's like neck and neck. Um, they are pretty amazing locations to uh, to snorkel. Like just so rich, very well preserved. Boats don't go in here, so the corals are nice and healthy, and the fish are happy. Um, so you can't beat that. So we are going to start to wrap up here. I really hope that you enjoyed um, this live stream and this look at Bora Bora and Taha. If you did enjoy um, this video, please consider supporting the video by sending us super chats and super stickers. Um, you can do that by clicking the dollar bill sign at the bottom of this chat. Um, session. We'll be going live again soon, so be sure to subscribe to our newsletter by clicking the link in the description below, and we'll let you know when we're going live next. Catherine, I don't think there's laws on that, but everybody encourages you to use reef safe sunscreen. Um, so I really like the super goop, and I, I also just like using um, just the sunblock, the actual zinc. Uh, you know, um, and that's sort of good for the reef or it doesn't damage the reef anyway. So um, everybody is extremely conscious about that and they encourage you to use, uh, yeah, everything reef safe all the time. Um, people here take the take the beauty of the ocean extremely seriously. So um, it's good to see because then, you know, I mean, you, you have reefs that are just so beautiful. You have happy, happy fish, happy environments, you know. Um, so thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. This has been so much fun. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter, and I'll let you know when we're going live again next. Until then, have a lovely, lovely weekend, and thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you guys soon.
Bye, Jody. Have a good Saturday. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, Catherine. Thanks for tuning in.